Today I want to talk about a powerful concept for you for money, relationships, and just general well-being in life. And it's called asymmetric payoffs. And if you don't know these terms, there's asymmetric and symmetric. And so the easiest way to think about symmetric is it's balanced. So if you take a circle and you draw a line directly down the middle, these two sides are equal. But asymmetric, a better term for that is lopsided. So if you take a, a graph, we know the standard normal distribution graph that goes like that. But if we have an, a lopsided graph that kind of goes like that. And so asymmetric, what I'm getting at is, are there things in your life you can target or go after that have asymmetric payoffs? So I'm going to erase this graph because I need a little room to walk through this concept here. If we look at asymmetric, we want something where the payoff is greater than the risk you take. And a great example of this is in venture capital. Now, when Facebook and, and Google and a lot of the big Silicon Valley companies got started, they needed funding because they were expanding fast. And so they go to venture capitalists, people like Andreessen, Sequoia, and you've probably read about these companies in the news, but what you may not know is how they make piles of money. And what they do is they are looking for asymmetric payoffs. For instance, if I go flip a coin, I have 50% chance that I'm right and 50% chance that I'm wrong. That's not an asymmetric payoff. My risk is pretty great if I put some money down. However, if we follow the venture capital model, venture capital, also known as VC for short, and I've read a few books about this, but you can also see this in the news. This is fascinating. Venture capitalists will take, will spread their risk across many companies, but here's what they do. They want companies with the potential for a huge upside, meaning if they put down $1, they're not expecting two bucks. They're not even expecting five bucks. They want to start, their minimum they want is 10 bucks back. And really what they want is 20, 50. And in the rare cases, sometimes you'll see 100 or greater. Now notice we go back to our term here of asymmetry. This is their initial risk. Let's say they put $1 on 10 companies. The way venture capital funds make money is they'll have 10 companies, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And just for the sake of easiness, let's say they put a, a dollar down. They're putting millions down, but let's say a dollar in each of these. Generally what happens is, and this, this baffles people how they make money is, six or seven of their bets make nothing. So six companies equal zero. They lose. They either go bust, whatever. So their dollar is completely gone. Two of these companies maybe break even meaning they invest a dollar to get a dollar back. So not for a venture capital fund, they consider that a loss as well because they're looking for asymmetry. This is not asymmetry. Maybe one of these companies gives a 2x return to 4x maybe. And I mean, these numbers can vary, but it's on the shorter end of the multiplier scale. So that covers this one. But this one... This is where the magic happens. This is where asymmetry comes in. One of these companies makes anywhere from 10x to, we'll say, 500x. Now, the question you may ask is, before I told you the 10th company, if they're losing on six, breaking even on two, and making little money on one, how are these companies, number one, staying in business, and number two, making money hand over fist? And the answer is asymmetry. Let's say for the sake of 
easy numbers that they got one payoff, let's say Facebook, and their Facebook investment, I believe when I was reading, it was anywhere from 100 to 200x. If they invest a dollar in 10 companies, six are losers, two come back the same, one maybe makes some money. They're out, let's see, six bucks they've lost, two they make money back, four, and maybe they made a little money. So maybe they're two to three bucks in the hole. I'll say negative. However, this one, even if we go on the low end at 100x, they made 100 bucks. So if we subtract two or three, well, let's say 97 profit. So the one, the one lopsided asymmetry payoff pays for everything else and even more. Now here's what they do. Take that 97 and they're going to go and do another dollar in 10 more funds after they do a little research. They're not just throwing money at, at garbage. They're doing their research. But once they narrow it down to 10, 15, 20 companies, they're spreading money across all of those. And the, one of the best quotes I ever heard from a venture capitalist who's worth nine figures is we can't afford to not be in anything in, in a, that has uh, falls in our target portfolio. So if they identify 20 companies after their research and due diligence, and maybe they're not making money yet, but they're attractive, they have growth potential. Again, I'm going to read you that quote. We can't afford to not be in all of these companies at once. And, and we go back to the idea of they take a dollar, two dollars, a hundred grand, just a multiple and they're going to spread it across these companies and what they're looking for is asymmetry right here because the one or two asymmetric payoffs over 10 or 20 companies not only makes them money but gives them millions of dollars more to operate to get more research to go after more companies to make interest to invest in stocks the, the story goes on and on and on asymmetry is your goal now even if you're not interested in lots of money or you're not a math person, you can use asymmetry in your life. Think about when you're at a networking event and you see 50 people around. Some people are talking to one or two, some are kind of wallflowers, maybe a couple have three or four people around them, but there's one or two people that have a crowd around them. That's an asymmetric payoff for you. Why? Because if you're smart, and you can talk to whoever you want. I'm not telling you to single people out or ignore people. But if you're smart, during the night, you take five minutes and go over to those one to two power connectors. Why? Because all you risk is they tell you no or there's no connection. And sure, some of you may have social anxiety. There may be a little embarrassment, but... You risk, you risk no harm to your body, you risk no money by going up to these one or two people. But what happens if it works? Maybe you network with one of these people and they introduce you to more people in their network who are high value or you get a business deal. Or you get something that you wouldn't have gotten from these nine other people. There's another example of asymmetry is... You want your payoff to be, and I say greater than risk, what I should really say is for VC and power networking, I should say far greater than risk. Because in the venture capital example, you only risk a buck. If you're out of buck, it's no big deal. In this interaction, you risk five minutes to go walk up and introduce yourself to a power connector. If nothing happens of it, you only wasted five. It's not even a waste. You spent five minutes of your time. You do that scrolling on your phone or going to get a coffee at Starbucks, but there's not a lot of payoff in that. There's a huge potential payoff in this. But I want you to understand is you may go up to power connectors and you may fail six, seven, eight times, but one of these power connectors may grant you access to things you never imagined. So there's a huge asymmetric payoff for that. And even one more example, and, and people may laugh at this, is you may laugh at people that play the lottery. Now, most lottery games are absolutely useless. The, the deck is stacked against you. But Powerball, when it gets to a certain amount, it's actually worth taking the risk of one or two or three bucks because you may risk $2 on Powerball, but what was the last payoff in the news? I think it was something like $400 million. 
Now, how long does it take you to go to the store and buy the $2 ticket? Because I want to I wanna account for opportunity costs. Your, your time's valuable. Two bucks and maybe a trip down the street for five minutes, but you got a shot at this. Yes, the odds are very, very, very long, but if you're going to spend $2, you can go spend $2 on a snack or coffee or, or a trinket when you're on vacation, or you could go for the big payoff. And again, I want to come back to asymmetric payoffs. The, to wrap this video up, think about your risk, both money and time, because time is also money. And then think about your payoff. And you don't want to go for two or three or four. Those are nice, two, three, four X. You're looking for at least 10 X or higher. So follow the venture capital model is, can you take just a small amount of your money or a small amount of your time and look for asymmetric risks, both in investments and people to network with. And I promise you, as you do this over time, you'll start to see massive payoffs you never did by taking symmetric risks. So with that, thank you for watching.